and welcome for another video for balancing of chemical equation. Today we are going to discuss an equation, uh, try to balance an equation for the action between uh, hydrogen sulfide gas and oxygen gas plus oxygen gas to produce uh, sulfur 4 oxide and water so this is water these are these are more, more model for water sulfur oxide and oxygen hydrogen sulfide now uh, this reaction for us to be able to balance this reaction we are going to utilize uh, models that are going to show us individual atoms involved in this reaction so uh, we are going to represent uh, hydrogen sulfide like this that is one sulfur atom and two hydrogen atoms we are going to represent oxygen as such this is a molecule of oxygen having two atoms of oxygen sulfur four oxide will be represented by this model here that means we have one sulfur atom and two uh, sulfur uh, oxygen atoms then we have a model for water this is one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms like that now by the look of things now when we look this is the side of the reactant and these are our products here now for us to be able to balance this equation we are going to uh, evaluate one atom at a time and in this case we might start with the sulfur as you can see we have one sulfur atom on this side Whereas we have one atom of sulfur on the other side, meaning, as for as we talk now, sulfur atoms are balanced on both sides. Let us now consider hydrogen atoms. On this side we have two. You can see one, two, and on this side we have one, two. Uh, those are hydrogen atoms, and as you see, hydrogen atoms are balanced on the reactant side and the product side. Now let us consider oxygen here. Oxygen, uh, we have two oxygen atoms here, one, two. And when you consider this side now, we have one, two, and three. So, on this side, oxygen atoms are not balanced. We have two here, and we have three here. So, we need to do something to, uh, to increase the number of oxygen atoms on this side, so that they can balance on this, uh, with this side here. So, what we do is that we are going to add one molecule of uh, oxygen, that means we are going to add four oxygen uh, uh, atoms on this side. So we have four, and this side we have three. Now that brings us to another uh, dilemma because, as you can see now, we need to add some uh, oxygen now on this side so that we can balance uh, uh, the number of oxygen. Now let us try. This is a try and error method. We are going to add oxygen uh, in water. We mean now we have added one oxygen, so we have one, two, three, four oxygens, and on this side we have one, two, three, four oxygens. So oxygens are balanced, but by doing so, we have destabilized the number of hydrogen atoms because now we have one, two, three, four, but on this side we have one, two. Now to increase the number of uh, hydrogen atoms on this side, now we are going to add a molecule of hydrogen sulfide, such that now we have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms on this side, and one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms on that side, they are balanced. But now you realize we have increased the number of sulfur atoms on this side. So what are we supposed to do? Uh, we have two and we have one here. Suppose now we add a molecule of sulfur four oxide on this side so that we have two sulfur atoms and two sulfur atoms. We have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms and one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms. We have one, two, three, four oxygen atoms, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six oxygen atoms on this side. Now, to make these six, we add another molecule of oxygen atom, so that now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are balanced. Oxygen are balanced. One, two, sulfur on the side of reactant, and one, two, sulfur on the side of the product. They are balanced. And uh, hydrogen, one, two, three, four, they are balanced. So our equation is balanced. So what we do now is that now we add our coefficients to our equation here. So we have two molecules of hydrogen sulfide, one, two. So we put a two here. We have uh, three 
molecules of uh, of oxygen. So we put a three here. You see, one, two, three. Three times two equals six atoms of one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have two molecules of sulfur four oxide. So we put a two there, and we have two molecules of oxygen, uh, of water. So we add two there. Now, as we talk, our equation is very balanced uh, uh, in that as it appears now. Uh, let us look now, let us see the activity. Remember, we say that a reaction is an action. There is an action that is taking place for us to be able to produce these uh, products here on the side of the reactants. Now, if we might replace now our reactants here with detachable ox uh, atoms, we are going to have something like this. For oxygen, we have touched the oxygen. For this hydrogen sulfide, we are going to have something like this, and like this. And the other one, we are going to have something like that, and like that. Now we put that one aside. So what happens for us to be able to form product from this is that when a reaction takes place, there is what we call bolt breakage. The bolts will break. And now, two oxygen atoms will attach to a sulfur atom. This one we attach to a sulfur atom, like that. Now we have that one. Then we have these ones are three. This one is going to attach to, to that one, to water, to oxygen to form water. And we have oxygen attaching to the other two to form water. So as you can see now, this is actually what happened on the side of the reactants to be able to produce our our products uh, on this side. A reaction that takes place by first of all, both breaks uh, from the original uh, reactants and then new both are formed to form our products. Uh, thank you very much. It, it was a, a quite a complex uh, react equation there, but I hope you have understood. Remember to look for more of our, our balancing of chemical equation from our videos and don't forget to subscribe so that when you upload a video, you'll be the first one to know.